In this section, I want to talk about the structure of a MAC address. A MAC address is an address that is used in data link layer. The data link layer, you know that this is the second layer from the bottom of the OSI, uh, OSI model. And you should know that MAC address is a 48-bit value. A 48-bit value or 6-byte value is a value that we put on a frame so that we can understand the destination of this frame and the source of this frame. Of course, because this is a layer 2 address, this is only used inside the subnet. We cannot use a MAC address outside of a subnet. If I want to send a frame to to some destination that is out of my subnet, I have to send it to my router's. So instead of putting the destination's MAC address, actually I put my router's MAC address on the frame to send it outward. But apart from this, I can tell that six bytes inside the MAC address, we have byte number zero. This is the first byte because we start counting from zero in computer world. Uh, then we have byte number one and byte number two, then byte number three, four, five, and you all know how to count. <laughs> and, and the most significant byte, or the most important byte, is the leftmost byte. So if I want to put some very, very important information inside the MAC address, I have to go and put it inside the first byte. And actually I'm going to talk about the structure of the first byte because this is the most significant byte. You can see that we have eight by bits inside this byte. You know, you already know that a byte is eight bits. And, and if I want to number these bits, you can see that although I need to start from left, here I start from right. Start numbering from right to left and not left to right. And bit number zero is going to be the rightmost bits here. And bit number one is going to be uh, next to the rightmost bits here. And and these two have some values that are very important. The rightmost bit in the first byte is called the unicast or multicast byte bits. Uh, actually, when I have a unicast address, a unicast address is assigned to only one host. So if you want to uh, if you want to pinpoint a host, you need to go for its unicast address. If I change the value of this bit to zero, this is going to be a unicast address. But if I change the value to one, this is going to be a multicast address. Actually, this means that this address is shared between a lot of devices, and all of those will listen to any frame that is distant to this address. So a multicast address is an address that is assigned to multiple devices. So this bit is very important because we can change it to change a MAC address from unicast to multicast or from multicast to unicast. What about the seventh bit from the right? Uh, the seventh bit from the right is important because we can understand if this MAC address is globally unique that is a burnt in address, an address that the manufacturer has uh, burnt into this device, or if this is a locally administered MAC address. You know that the burnt in address is the address that a manufacturer uh, burns into the device. You know that this address is going to be unique, and this is unique in that uh, that factory has an OUI in the first three bytes of this MAC address, this OUI is assigned to this factory. For example, uh, if Cisco is going to use some uh, MAC address, it is going to receive this OUI from an organization. From an organization, uh, this organization controls every every OUI assigned to every every uh, company that is building these network interfaces. So when you see this OUI, you can understand that this is uh, an address that is be uh, that belongs to a Cisco device. What about the right part? The right part is where the manufacturer adds to these three bytes, so that it can create a MAC address. You can uh, think of this as a zip code, and the right part is going to be, for example, house number. 
So a zip code is about a neighborhood, but the house number is about only the houses inside that neighborhood. So if I am going to administer this neighborhood, I'm going to receive a zip code from officials, authorities, uh, and, and of course I can assign house numbers to each house inside my neighborhood. Okay, so this is the structure of a MAC address, and as I told you, the first byte is the most significant, and you see that the numbering in this first byte is, uh, you know, on the contrary, it is just the opposite of the numbering that you expe expected to see, and uh, that's it.